Fun fact, Sexual Overtones uh, was actually the name of my a cappella group in college. <laughs> Our milkshake brought all the boys to the yard. Um, but okay, so some coaches maybe made a few jokes at this women's event and they didn't land, right? So let's take a look at these slides that people are calling offensive. What do we got? All right, pass blocking rules, the do's. Spread them again, get erect, stay erect, bang him hard. Okay, offensive, yes, but also that doesn't make any sense. If you're, you're going to go with a sexual analogy, you have to commit. Like, I'm spreading them, getting erect, and also banging him hard? Who, who has the penis in this scenario? Uh, do we have another slide? Run blocking rules, the do's, spread your legs, enter front, not behind, push hard, finish on top. I, what are you even trying to tell me to do? I'm spreading my legs, but then I'm also doing the entering. Do you even sex, bro? As if these weren't stupid enough, Dumb and Dumber over here also rewrote the Aggies fight song, which they call a war hymn, to make it more of a war her if you will, for the female audience. This remix to Cognition features lyrics like, we are putting down our dish towels and taking off our gloves, no more Lysol or Cascade. Well, uh, we want to score touchdowns and walk in the parade. You know, it's actually impressive that they managed to find words that make less sense than the words in the original song. Words like, hullabaloo, connect, connect, and chigarugarem. So, real words. Really, with this story, I thought for sure we were done with this tone-deaf trend of teams hosting events for women and making them a huge pandering mess. I thought we were done in 2013 when the Astros hosted a ladies' night where women could learn about baseball and enjoy complimentary beauty treatments. I'm not sure which of those uh, members of the Astros are less qualified to give me, uh, but thanks. Uh, I thought we were done in 2015 when ladies' night at Nationals Park featured a dance contest and this promotional photo. There's no crying in baseball, but there's plenty of wine. What about puking? Is there puking? <laughs> and I thought for sure we were done at this time last year when the Tampa Bay Buccaneers launched this. Red is the Buccaneers' brand new women's movement that will be led by all of you, the women of Tampa Bay. Our goals for Red are simple. We want to help grow your understanding and enjoyment of Buccaneers football. Other events planned will bring the women of Red together to provide practical advice and helpful tips on how to express your love for the pewter and red through creative design projects, fashion-forward team apparel, inventive culinary creations, and much, much more. But, but, how, but how much more is there? You did culinary and you did the fashion. Guys, here's the thing. Now, I know this sounds crazy, but I promise it's true. You just got to trust me, okay? Women uh, can like and enjoy sports for the same reasons as men. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we don't need everything to be pink. We don't need there to be wine. We're not just there because big, hunky, athletic dudes are wearing tight pants, although dudes, keep that up, please, because mama like. <laughs> we like sports because sports are sweet. A lot of us weren't encouraged to like or play them as kids, which means, yeah, we're a bit behind you dudes in terms of getting to claim ownership of them. But a recent Gallup poll found that while 66% of adult men describe themselves as sports fans, so do 51% of women. It's really not as far off as the narrative suggests. From a purely business standpoint, those numbers say to me that there are a lot of people, male and female, who aren't spending their dollars on sports. A smart team or university would try to get these people in the door and convert them into lifelong fans, not hand them a swag bag of Milwaukee Brewers underwear, mansplain what a play clock is, and hope they're too dumb, drunk, or full of finger food to find the exit. A smart team or university would try to educate all of their fans, male and female, because while there are women who don't know the ins and outs of every sport, there are also plenty of men. Trust me, a lot of them work in this industry. <laughs> a smart team or university would make their fans, male and female, feel respected and welcome inside their stadium, not do this <laughs> Because what this says is that there are sports fans and then there are women and the women are only here for the free wine. And I get it, I get how it might be hard for men to understand what it feels like to identify with a community while consistently and repeatedly being told by that community that you're not a part of it. I'm being serious, I really do get that you can't see where we're coming from because sports have always been a really welcoming space for you guys. So I figured, 
the best way to explain how it feels to be, you know, reduced to a bunch of stereotypes you may or may not even identify with uh, would be just to show you. Men, dudes, homeboys, round up your wolf pack and join us for Men's Night at the Ballpark. We've got everything that guys like you love, or at least you would love if you weren't so damn afraid of commitment. Take part in one of our burping contests. Play a game of pin the boob on the boob. Stuff your face with all-you-can-eat buffalo wings wrapped in bacon, deep fried and covered in cheese. Then wash it all down with an IPA no one has ever heard of. The event will also feature a special information session where women will teach you how baseball works in a language you can understand. In baseball, the playing field is made up of four bases. You've got first base, which is, um, you know, then you've got second base, uh, which is third base, um, which I think uh, is then head out to your seats and enjoy the ball game. <laughs> Just kidding. Sit there and talk with the rest of the bros around you about how much you love the wire. And as if that's not enough, the first 100 dudes will leave with a complimentary gift bag, which includes Axe Body Spray, a year Brazzers membership, and a woman for you to do whatever you want with. Tickets are going fast, so round up your bros and let's bro out. Man, yeah. Pin the boob on the boob. Where can I play that?